Hello, kamusta po kayo? How are you? And thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Guzman Presents Art. So it's a bit of a chilly day today. It's really nice and sunny out. And uh, it's about 5 degrees Celsius today, which is approximately about 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And I kind of mentioned that because I know that some of my viewers, some of my subscribers are from the United States. So just a little bit of a kudos to uh, all the new subscribers from America as, as well as the world too. Um, also regarding new subscribers, I just want to thank everybody who recently subscribed to the channel. That is so great to sort of have some engagement with this channel, which is all about contemporary art. So if any of you have mistakenly sort of clicked on this channel by mistake, maybe because of the interesting thumbnail, well thank you for visiting. But I just want to mention that it is about contemporary art. And we're going to be discussing more about the exhibitions that are happening in my fair city here in Vancouver and as I travel elsewhere. Also, I want to take a moment to acknowledge that we are on the unceded and ancestral territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations, which is commonly known as Vancouver. And I am situating us here in the Chinatown area which is on East, hey uh, East Georgia Street, yeah. And we're just actually outside an, an art gallery called the Access Gallery. So I'm just gonna like, turn around and there it is. This is the Access Gallery, which is an artist-run center in Vancouver. So artist-run centers, for those of you who do not know, are centers that are sort of nonprofit organizations and they've been in quite a really well-established phenomenon here in Canada. And uh, what they do is they tend to sort of like show a lot of experimental work. And today we're going to go and have a look at the work by Christopher Lacroix titled 19,000 Scanned Anal Queefs and Counting. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this, um, with this video. But at the same time, I just want to give you a bit of a warning because there is some sort of a sensitive material about this exhibition. And a lot of the information about the gallery and the website I will include in the description area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go here a little bit. We're still outside the gallery. And most people, when they actually look inside, you see, they see that little display of uh, really interesting silicone obje objects. We're going to go inside and take a closer look at all of those things. All right. So onwards we go inside. <coughs> So you just have to forgive me, my voice is a little bit crackling right now because I was cycling in the really cold weather. But over here, what we're looking at right now is a little tear sheet about the exhibition. And um, I did actually have my own little tear sheet over here and I have a few notes. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a scan of the exhibition and do a little bit of a walkabout. And as you can see from the exhibition's title, 19,000 anal scans, or what's that again? Let me just see. It's 19,000 scanned anal queefs and counting. So for those of you who don't know what a queef is, and that's spelled Q-U-E-E-F, Yep, I got it right. Okay, so the definition, when I looked it up, actually, I was actually kind of curious, is, well, quite literally, it's a vaginal fart. <laughs> so when you're, you kind of know where this is going, don't you? But the thing about it, too, is that um, it's, um, it's uh, I guess it's a, it's, a, it's a gas release that actually happens during some sort of sexual act. So... This is really more about the anal quiz. So you can go and try and sort of imagine how that might come about. And I am just looking at all of these pieces of paper on the wall. They look blank. But I'm going to try and explain to you what I feel uh, is kind of like the reason for this result. Because I'm going to turn around now and we're going to see the mechanism. So we're going to 
uh, referred this to this mechanism as the apparatus for the anal crease. And we're just going to go in and have a closer look at this. I was able to actually come into the gallery a couple of days ago, and I was trying to sort of like figure out more like a historical sort of precedent to this installation, because I tend to sort of think that the entire show is one piece. And I think I'm probably correct in that assumption. So when we're looking at this mechanism in front of us, it's an apparatus. And there's this sense of sort of like trying to sort of like have some sort of anal wellness going on here. And, you know, it, I mean, the thing about it too is that what do we know about the anus anyways? It's a muscle. And muscles have to be exercised. They have to be contracted. They have to be stretched. So in a sense, this entire sort of mechanism here is to deal with that sort of um, making sure that you have that wellness in place. And um, from what I can deduce from here is that a person can lie down on this red sort of like platform and then as they pull this lever over here, it will make that thing descend and that little sort of like, um, you see that little uh, silicone um, protrusion over there, it's going to cause you to have an anal queef. And as you do that, there is a scanner right down here that will capture that little methane exchange. And of course, as it captures that, then it gets printed off and then it gets printed and punctured and put on the wall. And 19,000 queefs later, you have this entire installation. Now, I just want to put a bit of a historical bent on this sensibility which kind of deals with more the athletic um there's like a there's like some sort of like an athletic sensibility about this because i remember many years ago about 20 years ago when i was following the um the artist american artist matthew barney back in the 90s when he just like, graduated from yale university he was kind of dealing with athletics and the uh, essence of endurance so one of the performances that I was able to sort of see on video one time was that he was trying to sort of um, exhaust himself through rock climbing inside, um, inside a gymnasium. So his entire sort of like sensibility, because he was an athlete to begin with, that was what he was trying to sort of deal with in terms of the relationship between athletics and contemporary art. And then fast forward a few years later, we're going to go more into the sort of like the equipment apparatus sort of sensibilities. When I had happened upon an exhibition by Hadley and Maxwell over at the Artspeak Gallery, that's pretty much made of apparatus similar to this, but it's actually made of cedar wood. And they look like exercise equipment, but all of the uh, equipment was actually covered in latex. So there's this sort of like sensibility about s and sadomasochism, and, um, and that kind of like formulated more into sort of like this, the, the uh, sort of like sensibility of sexuality, the sensibility of athleticism, the uh, sensibility of apparatus being used to sort of like create contemporary art. And then there was another one that I was actually thinking about. Um, Oh yeah, right, the project that I did one time about 10 years ago over at the Darling Foundry in Montreal where I created a, uh, a little installation called Fitness Apparatus for Contemporary Art. And in a sense, it's kind of like looking at maybe our, uh, in terms of like how we think and how we treat our brain as something that needs to be sort of like exercised in order to sort of like alleviate any sort of like brain um, uh, brain diseases or anything like that. So those sort of like things have come into play here 
in terms of how I tend to approach this work. It's a really fun sort of piece of uh, piece of installation theater, and there's a certain sort of like satirical quality about it. Uh, if you also would like to mention a, a certain sort of like modely scatological sort of like sensibilities, because when you look at this rack over here, which I tend to think a lot of people are actually sort of like looking at through the little slit in the window. They're kind of curious about what this show is all about, but they're kind of afraid to come inside because there has this, there has this sort of like almost forbidden nature to it. I mean, I did mention something about the, uh, the sensibility of stretching the muscle, you know, the anal muscle. <laughs> so I guess in a way you can sort of like look at these um, silicone, I guess, implants. I'm not going to call them by what, they're, what they really are because you probably can figure that out. But you can sort of select your the color, the length, the girth, even the sort of like sensibilities. There's even one that has a lot of color in there, like almost like a rainbow color. But also another thing that I was thinking about is the word is the uh, sort of like the number that was attributed to this show, nineteen thousand and counting. And you kind of like realize that some people have these sort of like things that they use to count how many steps did they actually do in a day. You know, like 25,000 steps might constitute a really good day. So in a sense, there's some sort of like quantitative measurement that's also happening here in terms of measuring your anal fitness. So that's kind of like how I'm kind of seeing this work. Sadly enough, this video is probably going to be pale in comparison to a visit to this studio, to this installation. So what I like to do right now, towards the end of this video, is pick a spot that I kind of think is quite one of, one of my more favorite sort of like vantage points. And I think I'll use this one because this is quite a nice little area here. And if you lasted this long, well, congratulations. You have made it. Thank you so much for your engagement. You obviously like the video, so you might as well click the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to be notified of future episodes of this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's free. And, you're, and I usually post every week, so you'll be notified of that. So... It's going to be Christmas very soon, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have a follow-up to this in a week's time. But if, um, but I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll come up with something. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll come up with another topic, and then we can go and discuss that. So thank you very much for your engagement. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. And in parting, I just want to say... Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, which means thank you very much to all of you. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Maligayang Pasko, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.